I will end by the harmony of science and soul. Alil, the genetic spark, uh, the zygote formed from the union of mother's egg and father's sperms, uh, carries uh, Alil's unique codes of life passed down from parents. These allele define the genetic traits of the human being to come eye color, hair texture, and more subtly, the tendencies of the heart and mind. Zygote and dzygote. Uh, in some cases, this union may split to form dzygotic fraternal twins, two separate lives sharing a beginning. As the zygote embeds in the mother epithelial lining, it begins to draw nourishment from her very cells, a drawing. The embryo drawn in the womb, a living art. The embryo is like a divine drawing etched onto the canvas of the womb. Its feature first imagined in genetic blueprint begin to manifest, manifest physically through the formation of cartilage tissues and early organs. Embryonic epithelial cells guide this divine formation like a master brush and a sacred canvas. The composition of form, bone before skin, gradually a skeletal structure forms, bones like pillars, tissues like threads of connection, it's a sacred moment often said to happen around the end of four months. Around 120 days, a water-like release signals in the shift in some beliefs, perhaps an echo of the soul's descent. The infant awakens first kick of life as the Quran, um, as the soul enters, the baby often kicks, uh, signaling life and presence, I'm here. This marks of the beginning of consciousness, a moment beyond biology, a mystical awakening inside the mother. When the womb blows in the infant, he blows in and his soul is in. He blows to put his soul and then he starts kicking and the water comes because he is a soul that the angel blew. And then it comes to life and this is the Quran. A harmony of science and soul, biological, we observe genes, tissues, and organs forming. Spiritually, you describe uh, the moment and soul and baby meet and kick and signal and womb as a sacred space where a human becomes whole. Have learning and enjoy.